Hi, welcome to Manas Shiel YouTube channel. Before we start kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Let's start the video. If you haven't watched the previous video, I link it in the description box, or you can click here. Tensor Volume 20 Chapter 1 The First Battle Transcendent Battle Melman's Lannis, their fists cut the sky, the atmosphere vibrated, and the earth shook. It was so intense that it could have shattered even the stars, but it didn't for one reason. Zelanus and Milam had protected this battlefield with their defense barrier. This is also the reason why Milam did not join the war from the beginning. They had assessed the effects of Carrera's abyss annihilation, and calculated the damage that this war would cause to the Earth. Based on this, they were working to protect the planet itself with the barrier. Milam is a tyrant, but she is also a thoughtful person. She says and does what she means, but behind the scenes, she knows exactly what the consequences of her actions will be. It is Milm Mava, the demon lord, who manages to have both sides of the coin. Now, Milm has handed over the role of rampaging to Career, but she soon realized that there is someone else who is trying to protect this planet. It is, of course, the leader of the enemy, Insect Lord Zelanus himself. Hmm. He seems to be thinking the same thing as I am. This is a little troublesome. Zelanus's action was unexpected even for Milm. It is natural that he would try to protect this planet, since he is the one who is trying to invade the world. However, Milam was not so easily convinced. If it was just a barrier, it would have been fine, but it had been given an effect that was convenient for the enemy. She wanted to destroy it, but that would have affected her own barrier, and might have caused serious damage to this planet. No, you have the nerve to use my barrier. Despite such frustration, they were unable to make any rash moves. This situation was the proof that the leader of the enemy was capable, so they could not lose their temper. Even Milan, who could solve most of the problems by violence, had to act cautiously in the face of an enemy who might be her equal. Patiently waiting for the right moment, she finally made her move. Zelanus moved. Milan tried to make a move immediately, but there was a problem. Zelanus had carefully set up the barrier, so that Milan could not break into it. Although it took less than 10 seconds to disarm it, the delay was a blunder that could have been fatal. In the end, the effect was only a little harassment, but it did not change the fact that he had been outmaneuvered. Milam regretted it, but praised it honestly, and calmly vowed to get back a career. This was only because she had arrived just in time for career's crisis. Career would not have died, but if it had been fatal, it is unclear what would have happened to Milam's anger. It would have been a relief to the world. At any rate, the worst was over for Milam, and all that remained was to defeat Zelanus. She joined the war happily and started to fight against Zelanus. Zelanus was strong. He took Milam's fist without hesitation and hit back sharply. Milam also took it in his stride, and he hit Milam with kicks, elbows, and headbutts in a flowing motion. Zelanus, too, did not lag behind Milam, but responded to her in an impressive manner. Both fighters fought fiercely, using only their bodies as weapons. You good, aren't you? I didn't expect you to play with me this much. Haha, <laughs> no kidding. I was a bit wary of how good you are. Since you're the daughter of the creator, but I guess it's not that big a deal. Zelanus responded to Milam's flippant words with a pompous attitude, but in fact, he was not letting his guard down. Inwardly, he is just playing the role of a condescending person with the utmost caution toward Milam. Zelanus was cautious, as evidenced by the fact that he was wary of Carrera's judgment. Pride has nothing to do with Zelanus. Even though he was an absolute strong man, he was never overconfident. The essence of Zelanus was to give his all without letting his guard down, no matter who his opponent was. For this reason, Zelanus does not limit his vigilance to Milam alone. It is the essence of Zelanus to always do his best, not only against strong enemies, but also against weak ones. Therefore, he set up the barrier to delay Milam's entry into the game. In that instant, he was going to take out Carrera and take his power for himself. This did not happen because Milam's computing power was superior to Zelanus's expectation, and Carrera was more stubborn than he had imagined. For Zelanus, the failure to finish off Carrera was also a blow. If Carrera recovered and joined hands with Milam, it would be a problem. In addition, if they were forced into an endurance war, they might use judgment again, which was limited to once a day. If he judged such a situation calmly, he cannot be optimistic. That is why Zelanus used a sophisticated tactic in his conversation with Milam. It would be a good thing if she could let her guard down, but I wonder how good the daughter of the creator really is. Zelanus is thinking about this, and is waiting to see what Milam will do. Milam, on the other hand, smiles with a big smile on her face in an arrogant manner. Ha ha ha. You say that, don't you? Then you better entertain me. Milam is now in his true form for the first time. 
Beautiful crimson horns sprout from her forehead, parting her beautiful platinum pink hair. On his back, he spreads his dragon wings and wears jet black armor. In her hand, she holds a sir, which was given to her by Guy. It is rare for Milne to use a weapon. Whatever she may say, she admires Zelanis that much. Zelanis also realized that his performance was not working for Milne. If so, there is no point in making up for it. If you are so strong, why are you so cautious? Are you a coward? Milne asks curiously, to which Zelanis answers without concealment. Well, what is cowardice? If I would rather be defeated without fear of my enemies, I would rather be the victor even if I am a coward. Without losing his kingly bearing, he assures that he has nothing to be ashamed of. This is Zelanis' true intention, and he is proud of it. A victor. What do you want? Well, I know. My mission is to surpass the creator. This was Zelanis' true intention. In fact, Zelanis has been thinking about the reason for his existence ever since he was named by Veldanava. He was not blinded by respect for the creator as Feldway was, but he had always been trying to figure out what he should do. The answer he came up with was to surpass the parent. Zelanis's body is immortal. Every cell in his body is controlled by his mind and can be reproduced instantly, not just regenerated. Zelanis was not affected by disease or injury, and his existence transcended his own lifespan. Even so, they die when their energy is depleted. Even though the body is immortal, the mind has a limit. In other words, he was not immortal. Zelanis must one day surpass Feldenava. Since he cannot resist death in his present state, he is determined to improve himself by all possible means, timidly. That is why he must increase the number of our subordinates without completing the task by ourselves. At great risk, he created Pili to be his spouse. He created children with her to be his hands and feet. The children, like their parent Zelanis, sought strength. Zess was especially like him, and like Zelanis, he was very cowardly. He was also mean and cunning. He saw in his newborn brother a potential threat to himself, and tried to nip it in the bud. To the point that it would eat the individual who had been born as the next generation's queen and take its power for its own. The attempt seemed to have failed, but all of this is none of Zelanis's concern. He let them do what they wanted. If Zess would then become the next god of creation, that would be a joyous occasion. Either he, the parent, or Zess, the son, would be justified, and the next century would be built by the winner. Zelanis, however, had no intention of giving up his throne, and he would take Zess's power when he grew up. Zelanis always knew exactly what Zess's power was by loving him and gaining his trust to ensure his victory. In this case, the presence of Carrere, a dangerous element, made it possible for him to make good use of Zess as a touchstone. Zelanis was satisfied with the result because he was able to take away Zess's power. As long as someone as strong as Zelanis was so cunning and cautious, it was as good as impregnable. That is why Zelanis responded to Milam without any shame. Milam realized that Zelanis was more dangerous than she had expected. She thought that if Zelanis was not defeated at this point, it would be an unmanageable disaster, and she decided that she should do everything in her power to eliminate him. I would have liked to play with you more, but unfortunately you are dangerous. I'm sorry, but I'm going to take you seriously from now on. Milam becomes serious and declares this to Zelanis. Then she releases her power without a word. Zelanis could not afford to lose any more time. He had no choice but to get serious. I'll deal with you as a diversion before we challenge the summit. Let me show you the power of the creator's daughter. She stops worrying about her impact on the world, and unleashes her accumulated terrible power. The atmosphere trembled as their power increased. As long as there is no significant gap in their skills, level, the battle will only be prolonged by the grinding of combat. This is a common understanding, and that is why Milm has chosen to use special magic for short-term annihilation. In response, Zelanis also improved his fighting spirit. The clash between Milam's high energy and Zelanis's fighting energy created compression explosions, plasma, here and there in the space. The aftermath alone is powerful enough to crush a poor monster into tiny pieces. Even a greater magin would not be able to survive if caught in such an explosion. No third party is allowed to enter the battlefield where such a tremendous explosion is flying wildly. They had already evacuated long ago and were watching the situation from a distance outside the barrier. If they had been a little late in escaping, they would have been in a hellscape by now. But despite the energy force field that has been created, the real work has not yet begun. I'll show you the best. Drago Nova. Star particles sparkle between Milam's hands, swirling into an unworldly force of destruction. She bundles them together and shoots them at Zelanis. Even with the power to twist space like Peleid, it's impossible to take it all in. Milam, with this in mind, has struck with the power of tyranny. It was an outrageous act that would have made her a destroyer, and in this case, she was right. In a battle between paranormals, the longer the fight goes on, the more serious the damage will be. Since the barrier, which is a combination of the power of Milam and Zelanis, was present here, Milam used it to the utmost limit. 
On the other hand, Zelanus, like Melum, chose to use the special killing technique to destroy the enemy. Eat up. Devastator virus. Dark microparticles rose from Zelanus's body. They blocked Drago Nova's brilliance as if he were a willful being. They are the dark cells that make up Zelanus's body. Zelanus, who can manipulate the matter he takes in from the other world at will, is able to make his own body microscopic and invade the enemy's body. The tiny, willful cells break through even the barrier and devour the target from the inside, making it impossible for ordinary people to even resist. The shimmering light emitted by Melum intersects with the dark particles controlled by Zelanus. While the light drove out the darkness, the darkness swallowed the light. It is a moment in time, but it is a moment so tense that it seems infinite. It was an unfavorable situation for both parties. Milam was going to win overwhelmingly, and Zelanus was going to eat Milam with Zelanus. Finally, the outcome of the game was revealed. When light and darkness converged, there stood Milam. The dark microparticles had clung to Milam's body, but they had been extinguished by Milam's hockey. Milam, though fatigued, was unharmed. And Zelanus. Is this pain? I didn't think there was anything I could eat. Amazingly, he survived. Milam's Drago Nova is composed mainly of a special substance called star particles. It is a substance with destructive power that only Milam can control, even more than a Ryaiko, and unless its properties can be analyzed, it is uncontrollable by any human being. It was only natural that Zelanus failed in his attempt to eat it. However, Zelanus succeeded in killing it, but not in eating it. Although some damage was sustained, it was at a sufficiently regenerative level that it had no effect on the continuation of the battle. Milam suffered from mental exhaustion and Zelanus from some physical wear and tear. That was the only result of the exchange of fire. Zelanus stood up quickly and stared at Milam with his compound eyes. Then he thought. Can I really win this battle? Milam is strong because she is the daughter of the creator. It was said that she had inherited most of the power of the creator, but it seemed that she still had more power than she had ever known. Zelanus was convinced of this. Zelanus was convinced of this because he had seen the barren land where he had once fought a mortal battle with the demon Lord Gi. As is typical of the cautious Zelanus, he is well informed. The land, also called the Deadly Desert, was created more than 2,000 years ago, yet it is still contaminated by a dense magicule. The power of Melum's Drago Nova is great, but it is not contaminated to that extent. Therefore, he should think that there is something else. The uncertainty of what it was made Zelanus uneasy. For Zelanus, victory at all costs is not what he wants. He must win, safely and surely. Zelanus's belief was absolute, and based on that belief, further battles were dangerous. There was no such thing as a just-in-case, and Milam was still an unknown. Zelanus was considering retreat at this point. Shortly after this, an event occurred that forced Zelanus to make a decision. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy it.